Tonight's newsmaker has an awesome responsibility. The one and a half million children in North Carolina's public schools and the thousands of teachers and others who help those children learn. State School Superintendent Catherine Truitt is also leading the schools through the academic, logistical, safety and political challenges that accompanying reopening during the pandemic. She and I spoke about this earlier this week. You took your oath of office on January 2nd of this year at, at the height of the pandemic, but I'm sure you probably decided to run for this office prior to the pandemic. I'm wondering, had you known back then COVID would have affected North Carolina's public schools in the way that it has, would you have decided to run? The answer is a resounding yes. And I'm really looking forward to being one of the leaders to help us um, get where we need to go. Our K-5 students who are much more likely to be in school every day should be in school every day, but I would argue that it's time to get our grades six to 12 back into um, as much in-person learning as is safely possible. So many school systems, including the big ones here in our area, are using this cohort system where half the students attend in-person class two days a week, the other half remote learn, Wednesday is a cleaning day, and then they switch. My question is, how do you think this is working, and how long can this last before the students fall behind? Well, the students are already behind. We've got data that has been um, released over the weekend that shows that our students have slid considerably in math as well as in reading. Um, and I will let your viewers know that it's um, absolutely, especially with, with math, worse than we had anticipated. So what I would say is that a um, two day a week um, cohort um, is not sustainable. North Carolina's public school teachers and staff started getting their COVID vaccines last week. But of course, many teachers have been and will be back in the classroom before they get their full rounds of vaccine. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, how safe is it for them to be back in the classroom without having been vaccinated? A vaccination, according to the CDC and our own North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, is not a prerequisite for safe re-entry to the classroom. You are a former middle and high school English teacher. Mm -hmm. If you were still doing that, would you have any reservations about going into the classroom of a North Carolina public school to teach right now? Absolutely not. You're also the mom of three children. Would you have any reservations about sending them back into a North Carolina public school classroom right now? Zero reservations. What is your position regarding teachers who have pre-existing conditions that put them at a greater COVID risk, who are really afraid to go back into the classroom and insist they need to work from home with or without the vaccine? What do you have to say to those teachers and what should happen to those teachers? I've said all along that we must offer both teachers and families a choice. So. Um, they need to have a choice of continuing to have 100% remote instruction if that's what is best for, for them. What is your message to my viewers right now regarding the reopening of school? What would you like to tell them? I would like to tell them that although this is a very emotionally charged subject, that... Um, is peppered with, with fear. That it's really crucial that we continue to look at the science and we look at the data and we keep students at the center of this conversation. It All is right. possible to reopen schools safely. To illustrate how fluid and ever-changing this issue is, earlier today, the State Board of Education adopted and Superint Superintendent Truitt co-signed a resolution calling for all of North Carolina's public schools to offer at least some in-person learning by the end of this month. The board also stressed schools should use remote learning options only for higher risk students and for families opting for remote learning for their children. 
Superintendent Truett and I also talked about her three-point plan to respond to the learning loss among students due to the pandemic. To read more about that and what her number one priority is, look for this story on our website in the Newsmakers section of MyFox8.com.